Hello, I'm Laura Smith for the Capital Network and joining me from Global Geoscience is its chairman, James Calloway. James, welcome. Great to be with you. Now, James, we're always asked about the top questions in the lithium market. Sure. First up is, is there enough of lithium in the world? I think there is enough lithium uh, in the world. In fact, I know there is. The, the real question is, at what cost, at what, what price do people need to pay in order to stimulate the, the supply? And uh, I feel confident that the, the industry will ultimately respond. There may be shortages you know, that come up in, on a short-term basis, but uh, as the price uh, reflects the need uh, for supply, you know, we'll get a balance, and uh, I think the world will have enough lithium. And secondly, James, what's your outlook for electric storage and also uh, electric propulsion? Yeah, well, I'm much more optimistic about the growth rate for electric cars because lithium batteries are uniquely positioned when you start talking about mobile applications. It's light and it's very high density, and so it works much better. When you get into you know, mass storage, I think that there will be important applications, but I think it'll be a longer-term process. But the, the explosion in investment in uh, electric propulsion is, is really staggering. And the, and the public policy that's developing around the world to support it is also remarkable. And so I think that uh, everyone that's involved is having to increase their projections of demand coming from this. And we're certainly seeing a scramble around the world by people involved in battery making for the automobile industry, seeking out secure, secure and affordable supplies. So James, an explosion of demand, where is all the supply going to come from? Well, part of it will come from uh, the continued uh, development of the brine resources, like my old company at Oracobre is going to be doubling production. There'll be some increase at Atacama, and there'll be a few others. But I think that uh, uh, you're certainly going to have to have uh, a lot of it coming from spodumene uh, conversion. We're certainly seeing that, and there's a number of projects coming on stream. But there is an issue about conversion capacity, uh, and I think it's definitely going to be at a much higher price. And then, of course, there are going to be the, the things like Rhyolite Ridge, which is the big surprise, in my opinion, in the industry, where you, you have sedimentary deposits that are, are special uh, uh, that will allow us to expand. But I think that you know, the big thing is going to be expansion of the, 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 the brines, um, some new developments. Uh, we're going to have a lot of spodumene production that's going to have to come on stream. And then things like Rhyolite Ridge are going to be the things that will drive the supply. And the final question, James, the question everyone really wants to know, where is the price headed? Can you put a number on it? Well, it, it, you know, I think that it's going to be variable depending upon the, you know, the balance. But if in a general direction, it's no question it's up. Um, and I think that's going to be for a foreseeable uh, time. And, and it just has to do with how long it takes to really respond to demand. And demand's growing so rapidly now that, uh, you know, I think you're going to be seeing uh, stuff indefinitely north of $10,000. And you could, see, you could see spikes considerably higher than that per ton. Well, certainly exciting times for lithium developers, producers, and investors. Thank you for your insights today. Well, thank you very much for having me.